wasn't long, YouTube. It's Satya. And I'm making a video, obviously. And the main reason I am making this video is I really want to get something off my chest. And do not take that pervertedly. The issue that I'm having is girls on RuneScape. Yes. I thoroughly believe that I'm the last female in real life that plays RuneScape. And I'll show you why. Not too long ago, this girl added me who has all this RuneScape crap all over her book of face. And here we go. Her name is Jessica. Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh, I just want to give her all my money so she'll be my girlfriend. I don't know why she would add another girl. Yeah. And the sad thing is, there's at least five or six people on my friend's request thingy that look just like her. So I'm just going to do a little spoiler here. If you go to Google search, google.com, you know, put that in your Google and search it. Go to images, and what's everyone's favorite fad? Emo. Chick. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, what do we have here? It's Jessica! Oh my gosh. So, I'll just get to the point. If you see any of these girls adding you on Facebook, or if your RuneScape girlfriend resembles any of these girls, guess what? She's a 13-year-old boy or a 50-year-old pedophile. None of these girls probably even know what RuneScape is. They hang out at the MAC cosmetics counter and straggle around at the arcade. That's all they do. Why guys find these girls attractive? Well, she's not too bad. I don't know. Way too much makeup. Way too much hairspray. Yeah. They're too busy doing their hair, they can't play RuneScape. So, if I broke anybody's heart, I'm sorry. Um, also type in scene if a girl added you and she's not on there. Scene girl. La la la. Yeah, there's some more of them. None of these girls play RuneScape. None of them. Ever. Never ever. Okay? I'm not saying that there's no hot girls that play RuneScape, but 99% of the time, if it is a girl, it's not going to look like this. Okay? So I just want to get that out there. Because it's kind of a little prelude to the story I'm about to tell you. Oh, free stuff. Anyway, um, I guess this is kind of like the sequel to Where Sat. And... I'm not in RuneScape Wiki anymore. I decided that people who know more about RuneScape than me are not very fun. Yeah. So I went to the RuneScape forums. He's not picking. Look at that. He's not picking up a Raynor. What the hell? I'll take that. Anyway. Oh, I'm in the Jadinko layer training fire making. Anyway, I decided to go into the RuneScape forums to find a clan that was active and that I could volunteer my time in. And I would go in clan after clan and there'd be nobody in there or they wouldn't speak English. And so I said, alright, the next clan that I go into that has 10 of our people, I'm joining it. And that clan was a little shindig called Legions of Rome. And I'm really sorry if I'm breathy or if it sounds like I'm shivering. It is. That I'm shivering because it's like fucking negative 50 degrees here in Virginia. <sighs> anyway, so I joined the clan and worked my ass off. And of course, the. Look at that, you logs. The clan leader takes full advantage of me and he'll make like these really gay ass events and, like, oh, I can't go. Satya, you take care of it. 
So nobody hardly ever saw him in game. And I got a little tired of that. But, you know, it comes down to it. He's the one who will have to go under the pressure. Especially with drama and things like that. Because you can't have a large group of people and not have drama. Well, why am I lagging so bad? Oh, I totally typed that backwards. Just like, why is it not working? Yeah, and um, eventually the clan owner and I became pretty good friends, and we added each other on the book of face. And he had this little RuneScape girlfriend, who used fake pictures, similar to one of the ones I showed you. But yeah, she used fake pictures, and she had an attitude problem, and accused everyone of hitting on her and being in love with her, and the clan owner would flip out if, somebody, if she said somebody was hitting on her, and it'd just be constant drama. But I liked most of the people in there, so, you know, I put up with it. Then, when I, after I logged off Friendscape, he sends me a message on Facebook, and he's all like, Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself, and I'm just like, God, another fucking emo kid. So I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, can we talk? And I'm like, yeah, alright. He's like, can we talk in my friend's chat? Like, what the fuck? Why can't we just talk here where we are talking? So I don't have to log back on. So I get back on RuneScape, I go into his friend's chat, and there's a person in there. And we'll just say their name's Hotchick69. So I say, where's the clan owner? He told me to come in here. She responds, oh, his electricity went out. Sorry about that. While well, the entire time I have Facebook snapped to my RuneScape, so you know they're side by side, because I'm a dork like that. And um, he's updating his status with the music he's listening to and liking shit. And I'm like, how can you do all this with no electricity? Because it didn't have the little cell phone icon or the Blackberry icon or the iPhone icon. He was doing it from a computer. So unless his computer ran off hamsters, his electricity was not out. Okay. So I'm like, all right, I'll go along with it. I've seen enough shit in my time to know that this is just a big rouge. And she tells me that John's had this heart. Oh, I said his name. <laughs> Clan owner has had such a hard time that um, his only child was kidnapped and murdered, and his fiance was raped and is now pregnant by the rapist. Yeah. Right. And I'm Sazima. So I get a little irked by this. Because, thoroughly, I believe this person is the clan owner pretending to be someone else. To make his story seem more realistic because it's being told by another person. And he probably wants, I don't know how this would work together, but it, somehow I'm sure he wants GP out of it. So, I wait for him to, the real him to get online and I've had enough with his shenanigans and his drama and his lies and his he makes fake accounts of chicks and yeah we'll just get to the point I tell him you know step down give somebody else a clan and get the fuck off from escape and get some freaking help because you are schizophrenic and this is serious. So he puts up a vote of all the deputy owners. Minus me. Okay? Me, who works harder than anybody, doesn't even get to be on the vote. So luckily, someone puts my name on it. Look how bad my ping is. Anyway, I win. Of course. Because it's not a contest unless I'm winning. And he all of a sudden, you know, I'm not giving up the clan, sorry. 
So I'm like, okay, I'm done. And I take 99% of the clan with me. Everyone minus his fake accounts. And we decide to make our own clan. And we name it, da-da-da-da-da, Fall of Rome. Wow. Isn't that ironic? <sighs> so, yeah, we Fall of Rome with the barbarians who finally finished off the great Empire of Rome. Mm -hmm. Even though we all know Rome pretty much destroyed itself, and then the barbarians easily swept in and finished it off. But, yeah. Fall of Rome, we are recruiting. We have 77 members. We have 8 deputy owners. Um, 2 events a week. 1 boss, which is the one I will always be at. And the other one, it depends. Sometimes it'll be when I'm at work or whatever. Active chat, as you can see here. Um, I would name off everyone's names, but like I said, there's 77 of us. Anyone with an admin rank and up is someone who was in Family Funk with me or who was in Legions with me. So I consider them like the um, the elders of the council or whatnot. Um, quick rules. Abide by the rules of RuneScape. If it'll get you banned on RuneScape, it'll probably get you banned in here. Uh, as far as um, I don't care pretty much what you talk about. I don't, you can cuss, you can, you can be racist, but if someone asks you to not be racist, then do unto others the golden rule, blah blah blah. Um, ranks are pretty easy to get, just be active, do events, recruit. It's pretty simple stuff. <sighs> I'm running out of shit to say, so I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Um, I know at the end of all my videos I always say, oh, subscribe to me, I'll make more videos. The truth is, I could care the fuck less if you subscribe to me, and I'm probably not going to make another video for three or four months. Just whenever I get a wild hair up my ass. Um, remember, these girls, stay away bad. Anyway, join the clan. Peace out.